Welcome to Curious Minds. I bet you didn't know that the most violent storms on Earth are born from a perfect clash in the sky. I'm Tornado, nature's wildest tantrum. You know me as a dark spinning funnel cloud racing down from the sky. My winds are the fastest and most destructive on Earth, but how do I form? It all begins inside my parent, the mighty supercell thunderstorm. Not every rain cloud can make me. I need a heavyweight storm fueled by a clash of air masses. Warm, moist air from the Gulf of Mexico rises while cold, dry air from the Rockies or Canada sinks. When these two meet, the atmosphere turns unstable, perfect for my creation. The warm air rockets upward, carrying energy and moisture, building a towering cloud miles high. This powerful updraft is the storm's engine, feeding and organizing the supercell. Inside, everything churns. The supercell becomes a self-sustaining weather machine, lasting for hours and spawning wild weather. But its most fearsome creation is me. The stage is set, energy is building and the sky holds its breath. Soon the chaos will take shape. I am the storm's ultimate expression. My birth is dramatic and my arrival is unforgettable. The countdown to my formation has begun. So, how do I get my spin? The answer, wind shear. Winds at different heights blow at different speeds and directions, creating a rolling motion in the air, like spinning a pencil between your hands. This invisible horizontal tube of spinning air is the seed of my rotation, but it's not a tornado yet. The supercell's powerful updraft grabs this spinning tube and tilts it upright. Now, a vertical column of rotating air forms inside the storm, a mesocyclone. This is my baby form, the first sign of real danger. On radar, forecasters spot this rotation and sound the alarm. The storm's engine is revving and the wall cloud lowers. The rotation tightens, spinning faster like a skater pulling in their arms. If this spinning column stretches from cloud to ground, I am born. I am Tornado, a vortex of wind and fury, connecting sky and earth. My journey of chaos begins now. The world braces for impact. Once I touch down, my power is immense and unpredictable. I can be a thin rope or a monstrous wedge over a mile wide. My winds can exceed 300 miles per hour, faster than any hurricane. Everyday objects become deadly missiles in my path. Scientists measure my strength with the enhanced Fujita scale from EF0 to EF5. An EF0 snaps branches, an EF5 erases entire homes and even strips pavement from roads. The EF scale is based on the damage I leave behind. My lifespan can be seconds or hours and I can carve a path over 100 miles long. My roar is unforgettable like a freight train or jet engine. I flatten communities in minutes, leaving scars on land and lives. Scientists use Doppler radar and satellites to track me, but predicting my exact path is still a challenge. Storm chasers risk everything to study me up close. Despite all the technology, I remain unpredictable. I am one of weather's greatest mysteries. My destructive dance is both feared and studied. I can appear almost anywhere, but my favorite playground is Tornado Alley in the central United States. Here, warm gulf air collides with cold rocky mountain air, creating perfect conditions for supercells. Dixie Alley in the southeast is another hot spot, but I'm not just an American phenomenon. I've been spotted on every continent except Antarctica, Argentina, Australia, Russia, Bangladesh, all have seen my fury. Wherever instability, moisture, and wind shear meet I can form. I am a global force, a universal symbol of nature's power. Despite all the science I remain full of mysteries. Why does one supercell spawn a tornado while another does not? What triggers my final descent? Scientists chase me to find out. I am the ultimate expression of atmospheric power, a beautiful, terrifying dance of wind and pressure. Even with all our technology I remind you, nature cannot be controlled, only understood. I am Tornado, and my story is far from over. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to Curious Minds for more fascinating content.